I'm gonna be coding myself to become the warden, so that I can experience what it is like to be blind. Yeah, it isn't very nice. Alright, so, first thing you need to do to become the warden is tap the command slash trigger, warden underscore trigger. That's it, that's literally it. And you get a powerful sonic boom item. Now, to not become the warden, you just tap the command slash trigger, warden underscore uninstall. There you go. So, the sonic boom item is a very powerful item that deals 5 hearts of damage to any mob. Now, you see this cow? <laughs> Cal is dead. So I put a cooldown on the Warden Sonic Boom item and you can only use it every 7 seconds. And before we continue on with the video, I just really want to ask if you could please subscribe because I really want to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. So subscribing to my channel would be really, really appreciated. Now for those who are the Warden, you can see that you have all of these buffs. Now because you have all these buffs, you are immune to drowning, to dying in lava and fire, and you are much more resistant to damage. And for those who are not the Warden, uh, yeah, whenever you are close to the Warden, you'll get these effects. Whenever I sprint, I get glowing, so now the Warden can see me. But there is a way you can negate all this. Now, whenever we sprint on wall, we don't get glowing. It negates all, um, sound. I don't know why this works, but apparently this is a thing with the actual Warden, so yeah. And also, if you get damaged by the Warden's Sonic Boom item, this is the death message. As you can see, Bandera was obliterated by Sonically Charged Shriek. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to download the data pack for yourself. The download link will be in the description. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot to me and it motivates me to make more of these type of videos. And I will see you in the next video, which hopefully will be next week.